What's up guys, James here, how are you doing? So, my last few videos regarding feminism have been quite highly critical, but what I'd like to do in this video is discuss a few, uh, discuss a few topics where I think feminists and MRAs can find some uh, common ground. Now, we may have some disagreements about what the causes of these problems are, and what the best solution to some of these problems are as well, but regardless, you know, we, we are agreeing, um, these are issues where sex positives and MRAs should be able to find some uh, common ground on. I think that it's quite harmful to be constantly surrounding yourself with people who agree with your point of view all the time. I think it's good to actually look for, uh, to actually look for debate. Uh, you know, that's how you learn new things. That's how you change your mind. Being constantly surrounded by people who agree with you all the time uh, is just going to be detrimental. Having some moderation of uh, your thoughts um, through logical discussion is always a good thing. So, the first thing we should be, I think we should be agreeing on, is destroying the enforcement of gender roles. It's often criticised that the MRAs simply want to, but, uh, simply want to get women back in the kitchen. And yet, from my experience, from nearly all of the MRAs I know, this could not be further from the truth. Feminists want to uh, want women to be able to achieve equal pay and that kind of thing. Uh, MRAs would like for men to not be judged simply by the size uh, the size of their wallet. We'd like to be able to be res uh, respected if we choose to become house husbands or don't pursue. Uh, an extremely academic or financially stable career. So yeah, these are issues which, um, you know, that is one issue where I think we could, we can certainly find some common ground on. Uh, now, where we disagree on this topic is that the standard feminist argument is that this this stems from patriarchy, whereas the male, um, you know, the MRA argument is that this stems from uh, the protection of females and. Uh, judging their lives as having more value, and there is a re uh, real discussion um, about that, and that will be a topic for a whole video at some point. Uh, but regardless, we all um, we all like to we you know, both sides would like for people to be judged as individuals and not to be treated in a particular way just due to their biological sex. Um, also, I think we should be able to agree on uh, sex work. Uh, so, yeah, sex positive feminists will, um, you know, they want to decriminalise uh, prostitution because uh, that will help the uh, sex workers. I think that there's um, an argument which is just as strong from um, the male perspective on this. Uh, you think that all of the customers of these sex workers uh, you know, most of the customers of the sex workers are male. You know, they're also looked down upon by society. Uh, having it illegal will mean that they're more likely to catch diseases. Um, you know, they could also they can also be robbed by the prostitutes or beat up by the pimps. So uh, you know, they're in just as much need as of protection um, as the sex workers are. So I think that we could be working uh, together on this issue. Then there's the matter of uh, men in porn. You know, they receive a lot less pay for doing the same work. Uh, lots of men are forced into the position of doing gay for pay work, um, or you know, they're not going to be making any money whatsoever in uh, that kind of work. Um, abortion is another issue. I think we could be um, in quite strong agreement with. Uh, you know, there's. Um, a whole topic of you know what male reproductive rights should be, and you know, that's another topic which I'd like to be getting into at some point. But uh, regardless, uh, I do think that there's a strong reason to support it from a male perspective. Uh, if a woman is forced to have a is forced to have a child against her will, then of course the man is also forced to uh, look after that child and um, look after that child as well. And you know that. The only real difference is the fact that uh, the woman, um, you know, the woman has to look after the, um, look after the child for nine months in the womb. So, uh, apart from that, 
the man will have just as much responsibility for, uh, thrust upon him, which may be against his will. So for that reason, uh, we should be in support of abortion. Uh, also, uh, LGBT issues. Um, so, you know, we know that the sex positives are very much in favour of uh, LGBT issues. Uh, from the MRA perspective, let's go over these uh, quickly. Lesbians, I mean, do we need a reason to support lesbians? I mean, come on, lesbians are great. Uh, gays, you know, they're men. They are being discriminated against for not uh, for not, uh, not going along with society's um, enforced gender roles. You know, they're looked down upon for not fitting in with the stereotypical view on what a man should be. And this is something which we would like to dis um, which we would like to counter as well. Uh, and we've got trans women, uh, they're treated like shit because, uh, you know, biologically they used to be men. Uh, you've got, and then trans men are treated like shit because they're men. So, you know, there's something else which we should be finding some common ground on. Um, and then, of course, uh, slut shaming. Now, biologically, I don't think that it makes any sense for slut shaming to come from men. Um, you know, there could be, uh, be um, slut shaming come, coming from beta men in order to, uh, to stay, um, sustain their relationship, to stop their women going off and seeking other men, you know, having her looked up, down upon for that kind of behaviour. But on the whole, um, it doesn't, it really is counterproduct counterproductive from a male perspective. Uh, and most slut shaming I see actually tends to come from women. Um, you know, even um, from a, an evolutionary perspective, it does make sense that women want to be able to shame the behaviours of other women because that means that they have less, that they will have less competition. Um, but you know, this is a complicated issue as well. That will, this would require an entire video to really uh, do it justice. But yeah, from a male perspective, uh, slut shaming completely counterproductive for. Uh, you know, guys getting laid or guys getting into uh, relationships. And, you know, there could even be an argument that, uh, you know, in some cases, slut shaming is so bad that there will be women who are willing to make uh, false um, false allegations simply to protect their honour. Uh, so, you know, these are just a few issues where I think that we should be able to um, have some common ground. Um, so it'd be interesting to have uh, some video responses about this, if you can think of any other issues where, uh, where you think that MRAs and feminists uh, could agree on, if anyone would like to expand on some of these issues, especially from uh, the MRA perspective, because uh, you know we've already heard most of them, um, we've already heard the uh, sex positives uh, talk about many of these issues from a female point of view. So, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.